Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Tricks, your girl, the supermodel, and today I have your November monthly love reading, okay, um, happy birthday to you guys, alright, so um, let's get right into it, I'm just excited to be back, um, so let's get right into the read, okay, um, I already pre-shuffled um, you guys' advice. So let's see what the tarot has to say for you guys as far as your relationship is concerned, okay? Um, Please and thank you. Your cards just don't want to shuffle. If I already been shuffling these cards for a minute. The number seven may be significant to you guys, okay? But I'm just so glad to be back. Like, I had to refresh myself. I had a long sabbatical. <laughs> Okay, so the overall energy we have is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is Taurus energy. So there's something that you're waiting for, okay, or there's something that you are taking your time and doing, or something that you're waiting for that's taking its time, okay? And whatever it is that you're waiting for or that you're thinking about doing, it's, it's something that you're I'm, I'm feeling it. It's something that you're waiting for, okay? Um, and whatever it is that you're waiting for is really taking its time. And that shit is worrying you on your mind. Like, that's what's on your mind. You're wondering, when is it going to come? Um, because it's taking so damn long. And this is definitely on your mind here with the um, Eight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. And it could definitely be... Um, a work situation or um, because we have the three of pinnacles here, it could be a work situation or something dealing with a co-worker. Um, but it's definitely some type of decision that you're waiting for here, okay, with the judgment card. So I'm just going to leave these here. This is the overall energy. Okay, so Scorpio, the energy that you have, the way that you're feeling or thinking um, currently about the person that you're dealing with is the Hermit card here, okay? So right now, you by yourself, you, you're trying to find yourself, you're thinking about something. Um, you solo right now, like you ain't, it's like you, you focusing on yourself, but you by yourself right now, thinking about yourself. Um, let's see, and the person that you're thinking about or dealing with has the Six of Cups, so this person is thinking about you. Okay, so... It's a possibility that this person is waiting for you to make a decision to come back towards them, okay? Um, this could be somebody that you dating at work or something, I don't know. Or you could be waiting for a decision, um, a decision at work, some a, work, a job that you worked at before or something like that. 
Okay, let me um let me clarify the hermit. Okay, we got the four cups, still thinking and contemplating. So you're trying to contemplate a decision or an offer or contemplate or making an offer of the heart, okay? But currently you're unhappy right now because the sun is in re in um in reverse, okay? And then we have the four swords at the bottom of the deck, so there's more contemplation and thinking. Um, you're trying to rest your mind right now. You can be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, you're trying to put things into perspective here. Um, with the, uh, what is this? The hangman, okay? You're trying to see things from a different perspective. So you're going with that, you soul searching um, in hermit mode. It's the card of Virgo, okay? You can have Virgo in your chart anywhere when you be dealing with Virgo. Um, but there's a decision that you're contemplating on making that you're thinking about. Okay, and um, either you ain't too thrilled to even make this decision right now. That's because that could be the reason why things is moving slow, or um, you could have been unhappy in that situation um, before. And this could definitely be somebody that you dealt with in the past. Okay, somebody that you already already dealt with here with the six of cups being and the persons. Um, position, but and you're just trying to see things from a different perspective, okay? But you're focusing on yourself with the Empress card here. This is Virgo energy again, so you could definitely be dealing with Virgo, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? Let's see what this person is thinking because they have the Six of Cups here, so they're definitely thinking about you, thinking about the memories that you guys shared, okay? Um, can we get the Six of Cups, please? Tell me about the Six of Cups for the person that Scorpio is dealing with. And they could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or have that sign in that chart. Oh, the card went under the fucking bed. Oh, here go. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this person can definitely wants um, a commitment with you here, okay? They want the whole shebang here. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about this commitment that you guys had in the past. Um, I don't know if you guys had a family unit, but they're thinking about that, okay? Thinking about the family unit that they had with you. Like if y'all was together with, you know, kids and shit. Um, and then you probably kicked them out the house or something like that. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Just giving you a scenario. But they're thinking about whatever they had with you here. Yeah. With the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah. This person could have been financially well, um, financially stable in the past, okay, or seeing that you was financially stable and wish that they could um, have that stability again. We have the Lovers here at the break and the Strength card, okay, so you could definitely be done for Leo or Gemini um, or somebody that has those signs in their chart. So, yeah, this person is definitely thinking about the relationship that you guys had, okay, and, um, yeah, this is all this person can think about, <laughs> is this relationship that you guys had. This is what they're thinking about, they're thinking about you. And I feel like this person has came to you, um, Ask for a reconciliation and you're currently um, thinking about it. This is what you're currently thinking about because in the past it says because you're thinking about it because you was unhappy. It's just because it was you was unhappy or you're not motivated to even attempt to make a decision here. But in the past situation we have the Ten of Swords, okay? So there was definitely an end in here, okay? Some type of betrayal, some type of devastation. So I'm going to go dig deep in that. And see what that's about. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. The Scorpio for the past. Ooh, okay. We have the Two of Swords, okay? So, this is definitely, um, somebody had blocked communication here. Um, somebody, what I'm getting is that somebody just wasn't seeing, um, Somebody didn't see this ending coming in the past here, okay? Um, somebody was definitely manipulative, 
okay, with the magician card, you can definitely be an Aquarius, okay, um, and it just seemed like you guys were just on two different page, pages, okay, somebody wanted one thing here, um, and somebody wanted something different, um, we have the queen of, the queen of stats, so this is the queen of wands, which is an Aries, so that you can be dealing with the Aries or an Aquarius, just going to add these signs in that chart. Um, we have the Aquarius shipping out a Libra coming through. There was definitely a need for some type of balance here. Um, we have the Six of Coins. Okay, so it was like there was equal give and take in the situation. We have the King of Swords. Okay, this is Gemini energy. Yeah, so somebody needing to make a head of a heart decision or somebody thinking clearly about a decision. Okay, and then we have Justice. Okay, which is being truthful, honest, um, balancing things out. You could definitely be doing for Libra. Because somebody has Libra in their chart. But what I'm seeing here is that um, somebody thought that this situation was going well <laughs> in the past. Okay. Um, they, with the King of Swords energy, they thought that everything was good between the two of you guys. Um, they felt like, you know, they was given equally as far as finances was concerned. Um, they was being honest, okay. So, what was the ending? Why is the betrayal here? Why is it? And then we have the Queen of Swords, okay. So, somebody definitely cut this, cut something out, okay. Um, the Queen of Swords. It's Libra energy. You can definitely be dealing with a Libra if somebody has Libra in their chart, yeah. Oh, the card. This card came out in reverse. The Ten of Coins. Somebody was definitely immature here. Um, somebody was stingy. Selfish. But in reality, somebody was being selfish and stingy. Okay. They was immature, selfish, and stingy. Let me know about this King of Coins in reverse. The King of Coins in reverse is um, Capricorn energy. So it gives me some money with Capricorn in that chart as well. And so we have death in reverse. Okay, so somebody didn't want to change that about themselves here. Yeah. Um, we have Scorpio energy. So this could be you, Scorpio, or um, this could be the person's energy that you're dealing with. But somebody didn't want to change the fact that they was being selfish, okay, um, and immature. Okay, most likely it has something to do with finances because it looks like, you know, somebody was giving you know, given equally, but they just didn't see something coming. But somebody was happy in this situation with the Ten of Cups here, okay? This could have been a marriage. You could have been married to this person, okay? Or um, engaged to them, but you was happy. And then we have the Emperor because somebody needed to take back control of their happiness. Somebody definitely wasn't happy in this situation here. They needed to protect themselves with the Seven of Wands here. And that's why you guys had took a break. And again, it's so funny because, and I'm about to show you this. And again, it's so funny because I had showed you the Four of Swords before when I was like, somebody needed to take a break and rest their mind. Right behind it was the Moon card. And this, this is a different deck. The four swords is right in front of this card, and here's the moon card here at the bottom of this deck. 
Yeah, somebody needed to take a break. And clear their fucking emotions. Because there was a lot of pettiness going on here. A lot of pettiness, arguing, bickering, fighting. Who get the last word? Who getting the last say? And it was most likely over money. Yeah. So the situation ended with you guys. So currently we have um, the present energy. We have the five of wands. Okay. So that means that somebody is conflicted possibly um, on what it is they need to do. Or there could be a lot of fights and arguments still currently going on with the two of you guys. Um, we have the star card in the reverse. So this is saying that, you know, there's definitely no hope here in this situation. Um, that somebody has no faith in the situation here whatsoever moving forward with this with this situation. Either you don't want to move forward, it's, it's looking like it's you, Scorpio. It's looking like this is your energy. This is why you're taking your sweet old time moving towards this situation here. Okay, this is a job situation, and I do see that there was definitely conflict um, at the workplace or conflict going on in the workplace, okay? And this is just not the place for you. Um, you feeling like you don't even want to be at that spot no more. But moving forward, it's like you don't see no faith in these arguments and um, you know, all, you don't see no faith in these arguments and stuff. Moving um, ending. You don't see no end to it. You have no faith that it's going to end. Um, you can deal with some Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, tell me more about the present. Yeah, it was a third party here. Three of Cups. It just popped out the Three of Cups. You don't have no faith in it because, yeah, you're going to keep arguing about other people getting into the relationship, the third party. Yep. Three staffs, three of coins, three of cups. We do got the other three here somewhere. No, I don't. But yeah, it was a third party. Well, currently, you don't have no faith because it's a third, uh, you know, a third party or whatever. We got the three of pentacles twice, so. Yeah, we got the three of pentacles twice. And you don't think that it's going to work moving forward. Okay. So what is this? You then past, present, future. So I still see somebody contemplating again. So I'm assuming this is you, Scorpio, because we had the four cups here underneath you in the beginning. So you're still contemplating. Okay, whether or not you still want to put up with the situation or deal with the situation in the future here and you haven't made a decision judgment came out again but this time in reverse okay so you still haven't i don't see you making a decision and i don't see that you communicate with this person at all um i see that you could possibly be blocking them in text messaging um blocking them on social media um but i see that you don't want to deal with this person anymore and the energy could be vice versa okay yeah and then the eight of swords came out again this is something that you definitely you know you definitely felt trapped and stuck in the situation here. Yeah, this is definitely something that has been on your mind, okay? But you're about to get some type of clarity um, in the situation with this Ace of um, Swords here. And whatever it is, you're going to be feeling some type of sad. Um, you're going to be feeling sad, okay? Um, emotion of sadness and loss, okay? Because right now... You know, this is just, yeah, you feeling sad and regretful, or somebody's feeling sad and regretful here, and this is on their mind, but your body is a sip of clarity, okay, and, um, yeah, your body is a sip of clarity with the Five of Cups, so for the advice, we have Scorpio is, um, the Ten of Pentacles, Again, we have the Ten of Pentacles again. The Ten of Pentacles is in your part in your person's um is what your person is thinking about. So we have the Ten of Pentacles again. Let me see. Play by the Ten of Pentacles for the advice, please just go be up. Mm. 
Okay, we have the three of wands. I mean the five. Five of wands. Four of swords. The moon. Five of swords. And we have the ten of wands in reverse. Okay, so it's looking like somebody... It's saying that the, it's basically telling you guys that, okay, you have to focus on the Ten of Pentacles, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is what? Your financial stability, um, your commitment, you know, to yourself, whatever commitments that you're trying to commit to currently, stick to those commitments, stick to your financial stability, stick to your family um, stability, okay? Whatever commitments you make to your family. Focus on your family, your family, your household. Um, things of that nature um, because they're saying that this is going to be a battle here. You're going to continue the battle. There's going to be some type of battle here with the five of wands. Okay, arguing, fussing, fighting, and battling with end. Okay, but you just need to take a break from that. Okay, if there's any breaks, I mean, if there's any arguing, or fussing, or fighting going on in your situation, you need to take a break from that. Okay, and remove yourself from it. Yeah, because somebody is definitely being petty here. Yeah. With the five of um swords, somebody is definitely being petty, you know, um, trying to get up on one. Like, you did this to me, so I'm going to do that to you, you know, type of thing here, yeah, okay? Um, that's what that's about. And then secrets here, or somebody is definitely in their emotions. That's what it is. Somebody is definitely in their feelings, okay? And they trying to be petty and get back at you, or you trying to be petty and get back at them. And with the Ten of Cups, I mean, with the Ten of Wands, it's like this is a never-ending battle that's not going to end, okay? It's not. It's not going to end until you do something to, to change it. So you might as well just cut your losses. This is a loss here with the Five of Cups in reverse again. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, move on. Okay, throw in the tail. Surrender and move the fuck on, okay? Somebody need to throw in the towel and move on from this situation here. Um, six of, the Six of Swords. Yeah, this is another ending battle. That's not going to end here, okay? There's a lot of gossiping, a lot of talking behind your back here with the Six of, I mean, with the Page of Pentacles. There's a lot of petty arguments, petty beefing, immature communication. And you need to be in this King of Swords energy where you can see things clearly, okay? And so that things can balance out here. Because currently, this is a whole toxic situation here. And the Divine is definitely stepping in, okay? Definitely stepping in, okay? Because it's too toxic. He was doing for Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Taurus. What is the other one? Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay. What other signs do I see here? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, I think I said all the signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, okay, so I already pulled your advice, so let me see what the romance angels have to say about this, okay, we have children, it says, 
your love life is being affected by children, okay? So there's definitely um, an issue dealing with kids. Like I said, we have the family situation here with the Ten of Coins. So I don't know, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you have kids by them or a family unit or something, but or but the, the child is being affected, okay? The children is being affected by all this pettiness, this argument, all of this, okay? they definitely been affected by this. Um, or it could be a situation where somebody had children outside of the situation because there was a third party and that's going to be what the beefing is about. You could be, be, be beefing with the other baby mothers even though I didn't see that come through. I feel that. And so we have trust. Okay. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Because currently, like I said before, there is no, somebody is not having faith in the situation with the star card in reverse because it's too much argument, okay, and there's a third party in the mix. So somebody is definitely not having faith, but like I said before, you know, the divine is definitely stepping in here because there's too much going on, like it's way too much and you need to just take a break, okay, and think about stuff. Think about the commitment. Think about your household. Think about your family before you make this decision. This this could be why you're taking so long making this decision in this this um King of Pentacles, I mean Knight of Pentacles energy here. Or not whether or not you want to work together with this person or not. Whether you want to continue to work with them. Okay, let me see what other lights we got for you guys. We have whoever finds wisdom finds life and receives favor from the Lord. Proverbs 3, I mean Proverbs 8, 35. Okay. And then the other one is, she is elated with strength and dignity and she lasts without, without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. Okay. So this is saying for you guys the heathen messages that the Lord is sending you guys. Okay, I'm pretty sure that you're getting some sort of signs or um, messages. Okay, that's helping you guys through the situation that you are going through, and it's saying that you guys are definitely going to get through this. Okay, through strength. Okay, and um, you know, with the strength of the Lord, you'll definitely get through get through the situation. Yeah. Okay, attention to um, the signs and warnings that, you know, that's being sent to you guys, because I'm pretty sure that, um, you know, that you're getting a lot of signs, you know, um, then we have, the Lord receives, oh, the Lord rejoices over you, okay, the Lord rejoices over you, so you're definitely highly favored. And then we have, the Lord will guide you always, Isaiah 58, 11. Okay, definitely. You definitely, like I said, you definitely have guided. Um, I don't know what the hell this is. Um, computer, okay. So, this says, the Lord will guide you always. So, you definitely are going to be guided in the situation that um, you're making here. And then the last one, it says, Life is beautiful. Enjoy every minute of it, okay? So, y'all need to cut the shit with the argument and everything. You just enjoy what it is that you have in front of you. Because currently, you know, you're unhappy here. And it's time for you to start enjoying yourself, okay? Enjoying your life. So, that is all that I have for you, Scorpio, for the month of November, okay? Comment down below and let me know if this resonated with you guys. And I'll see you in my next, the next video, all right? Okay, yeah. <laughs>